Hey guys, it's Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged. And today we're going to be doing a very anticipated video. We're going to be going ahead and giving you guys our top five mouse pads. But before we get started, please make sure you hit that like button to show support. And if you want to see more cons like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. All right, I stated before, this is a very anticipated video. Um, it took a it was quite a few months to really test out a whole yeah, bunch of- basically. A whole bunch of the moss pads, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like all over again, because we have a lot of moss pads. Yeah. So- We tried you know, a lot this a, year, dude. Yeah, so we really had to go back and see which ones we really like. Yeah. Um, and which ones, you know, stuck out uh, the most. I don't know, you know, like at least to me. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and so we finally gathered, you know, our thoughts and we finally yeah. gathered which ones are the ones that we like the most. Yeah. Um, this now this list is not exclusive to yeah. mouse pads that came out, you know, this yeah. year. This is just the mouse pads we tried overall. And yeah, there there are some mouse pads in here that came out this year and last year. Um, but yeah, these are the mouse pads that we put in the most time that we think you guys should watch out for because yeah, these were special for us. You these are our top five mouse we put in the most times. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and break them down and let you guys know um, what we think of each one. Starting with number five, what's your number five? So my number five is uh, Ink Gaming. Ink yeah. Gaming mouse pad, dude, this thing is crazy. So, you know, we get a lot of people asking us on multiple videos, yeah. uh, what is a, like, what is a mouse pad that feels like is our GSRC? Yeah. And my only answer is literally the Ink Gaming. When yeah. it comes to glide and smoothness, yeah. Um, it literally feels like a Zao GSRC. I can't stress that enough. Um, uh, not only that, but it's not as thick as a Zao GSRC. Uh, and so it kind of almost performs like a QCK Edge. Yeah, it does. Except it is slightly a little bit more faster than it. Yeah. Uh, and it holds up better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, in terms of this mouse pad, I really think this mouse pad is criminally underrated, underrated yeah, like big yeah, time. For real, for real. Um, for 15 bucks, dude, you know, I think you get it, uh, this in gaming pad. And honestly, dude, I wasn't expecting in gaming yeah. to, to make a mouse pad that I would genuinely like. You know, we kind of yeah. went into it thinking, oh, it's going to be another, you know what I mean? Like uh, an OEM type, type, yeah, type pad, yeah, you know, yeah. something that we felt. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's, yeah. actually, it's, it's something that is quite good. Uh, and I'm just surprised that, you know, uh, uh, the amount of performance that I got with it. Yeah. Was, so definitely in gave me my number five. I yeah. had a ton of fun with it. Yeah, and my number five would be the, um, what you call it, the uh, eSports Tiger Long Tank. The Long Tank, out of all the eSports Tiger mouse pad, this was the one that I actually liked the most. Um, one thing, that one complaint that I do have about it is that it does get affected by humidity. Um, now that wasn't that much noticeable when we got it fresh, I guess because of the coating, it was smoother and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But after breaking it down and over the months, like we, we've had this pad for months, dude, like months, three, yeah. three months, right? More, and after, yeah, and after putting like a month and a half, two months in, and when it does get affected by humidity, mm -hmm. you will notice that a lot more after breaking it down. And But when the environment, the temperature is right, it mm -hmm. performs awesome, amazing, and I like this mouse pad a lot, and that's why it's in my top five. So now let's start with uh, number four. No, so my number four is the Aqua Control Plus, the non-coded version. Um, and yeah, so the Aqua Control Plus, um, yeah. I mean, like what is there for me to say about it? Overall, well down the middle pad, good speed, uh, good control, uh, good stopping power. Uh, if there's a mouse pad that I'll have to recommend for anybody who is gonna start it off and you know, they wanna get like a mouse pad that they're yeah. gonna stick with for a, for a very long time, uh, and they're not gonna get like a mouse pad for like the next couple months, you know? Yeah. Definitely has to be the Aqua Control Plus. I think it's a fantastic uh, starter pad. Um, yeah, it's just the overall, like you just can't go wrong with getting one, honestly. Um, it is a little like rough, you know what I mean? The like than most, yeah. you know, of these other uh, cloth pads and whatnot. Um, but if you get used to it or if that really doesn't, yeah. you know, like affect you, I think you'll, I think you find yourself pretty, pretty well with it yeah right yeah because uh that's the and now that's the uncoated version right is, yes is yes, there a yes, difference yes. for you on the coated and uncoated when it comes to coated and non-coated honestly the only difference that i was able to tell is that the coated one is a little bit more faster but when it but there's nothing for you to go out and you have to buy like another coated one you know what i mean like yeah. no, no 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 if you already have an auto control plus they're basically the exact same pad um 
This one feels a little rougher too. I don't yeah. know. Maybe it's because we did broke, yeah, you know, break them we down. broke this one down. Yeah. So I, I don't even have to really like say that. But, uh, but yeah, the quarter one is a little bit faster. But in terms of performance, they basically perform the same. Yeah. There's really not much of a huge difference. So if you already have an all control plus, you're pretty much good. Like yeah, you, you don't need to. You yeah. don't need to get the the uncoated one. So. Yeah. And my number four would be the Razer Gigantis V2. Now this mouse pad, I put in a lot of time with it, and I compared it with G640. And after I used it again recently, and yeah. I was and I was able to perform really well with it. Now it does get affected by humidity, mm -hmm. but again, if the environment is right, it performs well. Now this mouse pad does not get affected by humidity as much as the um, the long ten, yeah. which is why it's uh, higher up in the list. Um, but yeah, the performance I got out of it for 15 bucks, dude, is crazy. I highly recommend it for people. Or just starting out, if you don't have a, you have a certain budget, you have a low budget. Yeah, I don't think you go wrong with this mouse pad. The performance guy was pretty good, and yeah. I enjoyed it. And even after breaking it down, it's it's not as slow as other mouse no, pads are no, whenever yeah. you break them down. This one actually is still pretty smooth, and yeah. I'm able to play with it really well, which is it's, why I like it. It's like a muddy smooth though, right? Yeah, you know what I mean, like yeah, it's not really that slow, but it, it is slow. It is. Know? It's it's a slow pad, a slow control pad, right? But it's not on the it's slower not the slowest, side. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, not, it's not it's not drastically slow. Um, but yeah, that's why I like it. Uh, another complaint I have about it is the edges. Mm -hmm. The stitches are fraying, um, but for using it for a long time, I have used it. It's held up pretty decent. Um, but yeah, 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 it really has. Like, how long have we had? I think that was one of the first months that we got. No, last year. No, it was, it was like around. No, yeah. I, think, I want to say we got it like around this year, January. I think yeah, it was yeah, like January. Yeah, 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 like mid year. Yeah, it's yeah, it, holds up it still well. works. You know, yeah. like, you can still game with it. So yeah, we have. So yeah, definitely one mm -hmm. to try. Number four. Now let's move on to uh, number three. Now you're number three. What's your number, number three? Number three. Literally, I think me and you both have the same number three. Oh yeah. Literally, okay, I forgot. And it's the Cooler Master MP510. Yeah, I mean, what else can I say about this pad? Whenever you're thinking about getting a pad, a durable pad, yeah, uh, that doesn't get affected by humidity, that's gonna perform the same, no matter what and how long you use it. Now. Before I do make that bold statement, uh, I will say that this pad, whenever it was new, it was fast, right? Correct? You remember how fast it was? No, it was slower. Oh, slow. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Slow, slow. Yeah, yeah. slow. Remember, yes, you're right. Remember, I compared yes. with the Gigantis V2 yes, and I was right. like, whoa, right. slower yes. than V2. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yes, I remember, I remember now. Yes, it was a slow pad. Oh, yeah. But we broke it down yeah. and it kind of got like speedy, speedy like yeah. a little bit on, with it. Yeah. But now I feel like this pad is just like, it's still like, it's still like, it's still like speedy, but I don't know what it is. And maybe yeah. it's the fabric or it's, the cordura yeah. of it, or, or yeah. I, I don't know, but I'm still able to control. I'm still able yeah. to stop really well with it. Yeah. And again, in terms of this moss pad feeling the same, now that we did broke it down, yeah. it literally feels the same. It, it hasn't it hasn't gone broken down even more, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. If so, I'm making yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, and again, because it's made of, uh, because it's made out of uh, the cordura fabric, um, when it gets hot or cold, it literally performs the exact same dude yeah and the yeah so this is in my top three because of the same reason the uh the, the what do you call it, the performance stays the same it's consistent it's consistent um it was like as you mentioned it was slower at first but i broke it down to become fat it became it did become faster now the reason i feel like i'm performing it that well is because of the x and y are different mm -hmm. and like i said remember slower going uh, yeah. horizontally and the vertical is a little faster mm -hmm. um and that feel like that helps me when i do flick shots mm -hmm. you know i don't overshoot too mm -hmm. much and stuff like that um, and uh, this moss pad, now I don't perform, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, I don't yeah, perform yeah. as good with this moss pad as the other ones previously mm -hmm. mentioned. But the reason is in my top three is because it stays consistent, does not get affected by humidity at all. Not that I could tell, I'm, I'm being honest, like at all, it doesn't get affected yeah, by humidity no. at all. Not and it's been tell. consistent since we got it. Be be other than that other breakdown than period, down, yeah. but after that, dude, it's been the same literally, and I love that. I could pick this moss pad up on a hot day or a cold day, and they'll stay the same. Yep. And that's why it's in my top three. Because no matter where I'm at, where I am, no matter what day it is, I could pick it up and still perform mm -hmm. the exact same. So that's why it's in my top yep. three. So number two, what's your number two? Number two is uh, the artisan, and it and it's dirty, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's dirty, but that's just because I really use the pad a lot. Yeah. Um, it's the artisan zero uh, extra soft. Yeah. So when it comes to extra soft and even the soft versions, I I think they are both. I like I prefer the I perform the exact same using the extra soft or the soft yeah. versions. Um, I just I just generally prefer uh, the soft version because you know it does have a little bit more that's uh, of that uh, of that stopping power, yeah. you know, because it is squishy yeah um 
you know but again um i think the soft and the extra soft are fantastic pads for control pads yeah you know like uh so like i've said like in the previous video i think we did the unboxing of him yeah if you know yourself and if you are a person who shakes a lot you know yeah you jittery yeah, yeah yeah jitters uh i really do think control pads should be kind of like your thing yeah, because yeah. you know like i noticed that when i use sometimes because now there's days where i don't jitter and i'm just like right on point yeah, yeah. and then there's days where i do jitter and the days that i do jitter i notice that when i use control pads like this one here yeah uh i feel normal you know what <laughs> i mean and i'm like yo you know my shots are there yeah. you know and everything's there uh but yeah definitely this has to be my favorite uh cloth pad for sure when it comes to cloth pads yeah. the artisan zero has to be my favorite cloth pad for sure yeah, and my number two, man, my number two, it has to be the Auto Control Plus. This one right here. I love this mouse pad ever since I got it. Like, I couldn't put that much time into it at first because of, you know, medical reasons. But mm -hmm. whenever I did get the time to put into it, man, I was able to perform really, really, really well with it. And what I like about it is that it's fast. When I need to do fast swipes, it's yeah. fast. But when you do micro adjusting, I'm able to control it really well. There's something up, like the, the way it's, the, the fabric is uh, weaved, I guess. Um, I'm able to micro adjust and I'm able to feel like a little bit of resistance micro adjusting but when yes. you go like this to swipe I'm able to swipe fast and I like playing uh, Apex Legends or that or any other game CSGO, yeah. Apex Legends or freaking uh, Call of Duty yeah, Cold War Call of Duty Cold War play really really well with this mouse pad um, it was it was my number one till about a week ago and <coughs> number one yeah my number one it almost formed the same but yeah um, this one is good and if you haven't tried one, I do recommend people go out and get it. This is like, if you if you just had like, I don't know, like a red dragon moss pad, or you're mm. just trying to look up for the next moss pad to get, this is one to check out. I mean, you know, yes, like he mentioned before, it is a little rougher, right? To the, to the surface compared to other cloth pads. But if you get used to this, man, you're gonna have a good time because yep. the performance you got out of it is crazy and it's cheap it's too. It's like 35 bucks. Uh, for this size and you, and you can get a desk mag version mm -hmm. for six for like 60 bucks 50 bucks mm -hmm. and I really think that's a good deal for a size um, For that size and the performance you got this type of surface, but yeah, yeah that's why it's my number my number two um, And your number one, what's your number one? Number one, uh, I know I'm gonna sound very uh, Contradicting as when I said that you know, I'm a shaky person and whatnot yeah. and, all, and all this and whatnot But I just can't deny the performance that I got on the moss pad yeah. like, like i would be lying to you guys if i said that this wasn't my favorite pad yeah and that i don't perform uh you know like really well with it because i do yeah that has to be the glorious ice pad uh quickly moved up to the rankings i got 21 kills i kept on getting i got 4k uh, 21 kills 4k badge uh on apex legends like three times with this pad like and all those three times they felt like effortless yeah yeah um I, I just can't deny the performance that I get with this pad. This Has is, this slowed down at all, by the way? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'll say this. It's not as smooth as whenever we first got it, yeah. but it's still smooth. Yeah. It still glides good, um, and it still feels consistent. It's just yeah, that yeah. it's not as speedy as it was, I, yeah. I, I guess. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, that makes sense. But it's still speedy. Yeah. You know, it's still a very uh, speedy pad. And one of the reasons why I like it, and I've noticed is was that when I use like my forearm yeah. with cloth pads, you know, I feel like the drag, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel yeah, that, you know, kind of like, uh, it so like sticks can, to my yeah. forearm. With this pad, it really doesn't. And I'm able to basically move my forearm freely and my hand freely. Hmm. And so I feel like that's what really helps me out when it comes to playing, you know, a game or whatnot. Because I feel very fluid using this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If there's a perfect word to describe is, I feel fluid using this mouse pad. Hmm. Like, like all of my movements and my aim and everything just feels fluid. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it is, and it's crazy. Again, I know I sound, you know, like I'm being like a contradicting yeah. myself and whatnot, but, um, but I mean, it's a, it's a it's a fast pad, but I don't know what it is. I feel like I can stop okay with it. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't have like the best starting power. No, no. But there's something about this pad that I'm yeah. still able to stop. You know, okay with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my flick shots are there. My tracking yeah. is there. Uh, I feel fluid with the pad. Um, do I recommend it for you guys? No, because uh, again, the quality issues with Glorious, you're basically rolling the dice, and we're lucky enough to get yeah, yeah. a really good one. So. On, so until they address, you know, I guess yeah. uh, the issues or they're gonna fix it, then I would go for it. But uh, um, but uh, again, uh, we're just very lucky enough to get a really decent one, like a really good yeah. one. And I mean, I can't lie. Like if you guys yeah. go to my streams, what moss pads on there? Yeah, that one. There yeah. this one. There this Literally. one. So, um, but yeah, that's my number one. You? My number one's in my desk right now. Actually, this right here is my number one, and that's the Hien. Now. 
like I said, like I mentioned before, the actually the Alcon Control Plus was gonna be one of the wrong mm -hmm. one, but a broken down heen is a good heen, all right? Yeah. A fresh heen is not that good, if I'm being honest. A fresh heen is rougher, and rougher. it's actually a, it's actually way it's faster, way right? Fast. You remember the, the whole slight test? It was the, I like, couldn't play with one. it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I couldn't play with it. Yeah, so after breaking it down, I don't know, it just got better. <laughs> it got better. Like, I was, I'm, it's, yes, it's still faster than this, right? But I'm, this, it has the right amount of control, just enough control for me to perform well with it, really well with it, actually. I broke, I keep breaking Kovacs record after Kovacs record after Kovacs record with this mouse pad, and I may perform really well when I play those video games that I play. Um, but yeah, this mouse pad, now when it comes to the stitching, I'm not gonna lie. This my mouse pad started fraying mm -hmm. as opposed to our control plus, it has a started fraying. Yeah, it's, it's actually stitching on this one has hold up pretty nicely. Yeah. As compared <laughs> to the uh, actually the artisan one, right? The more expensive one. But the base, I like the base, I like the surface, everything about it is good. It has not gotten affected by humidity, nothing not that I could tell, if I'm being mm -hmm. honest. Um, X and Y are I want to say they're the same, I don't notice anything drastic, if I'm no, being honest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the performance together is really awesome. And if you know what you want, if you know what you want go with an artist and mouse pad they're gonna last you a yeah. long time and you're gonna love the performance out of it but you gotta know what you want that's the only thing that's the only reason that i want to recommend an artist and mouse pad for most people but you gotta know exactly yeah. what you want because if you chose the right if you if you choose the wrong one you may get upset and you're not gonna like it as much as you will you would other mouse pads so definitely look at reviews definitely check out videos on people describing the mouse pad and the performance that they give and if it's something, something that you like then go with another yeah. mouse pad because yeah and this mouse pad at first i didn't like it that much but after breaking it down giving some time getting used to it and wearing it down it got better i got used to them perform amazing with it i like this mouse pad and yeah definitely my number one but uh yeah these yeah. mouse pads i mean people want to know what our top five yeah. mouse pads were and these are our top five mouse pads these are the mouse we put the most time into it man yeah this is the mouse pads that for one reason or another we always you know take it out yeah you know, right like, it spin, yeah. you know we're like oh i remember why i like it yeah because truth be told that we don't just stick to one mosfet no. for a long time no we'll probably stick with a monster for like a good week yeah like a good week and I, then the weekend i'll go back if anything order. if anything of it right so yeah. uh, so if i'm being honest yeah. our number one and number two are probably yeah. the monsters that we go back to over yes. and over again yeah, yeah, and we're just like yeah, yo yeah. i really like these yeah, pads too yeah. but the ones on our top five for one reason yeah. or another, we're like, you know what? Let me try this yeah. one today. Yeah. You know, and yep. then yep. and then yep. we're like, yo, like it's a good mouse pad. Like, yeah, I, like I forgot it. why I, I like it. Liked it. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's it. Those are our top five. I I, I hope I don't get too much flag with for the glorious <laughs> for the one, you know? one. Yeah, because I understand. Trust me, I I, yeah. I do, but. I don't know. I mean, you know, it ain't my fault that you know that we got a really good pair. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>